I will uh, turn to Mr. Tamás Pletzer. Thank you very much for being here with us. He's a, a specialist in um, the companies for uh, the um, stock markets, and I suppose that from this perspective, he will talk a little a bit about uh, majors in, here in the region, not only in respect with the stocks evolution, but also with the fundamentals. Please. <coughs> yes, thank you very much, Gabriel, and thanks very much for the invitation. Um, I would like to talk a little bit today about my experience with the Romanian <coughs> Neptune project and what I see, what could be the key obstacles here and, and what are my expectations here. Because as you know pretty well, this is a long-term story now. As far as I remember, the, the first discovery was around 2013, so almost 10 years from now. And the project is still not on, which is a kind of a surprise. Uh, now, you know, the project is led by OMV Petrom, as uh, Exxon had exited the project uh, with the other Romanian major company, Romgas, as a partner. Uh, in the past, we said that there was basically three major problems why this uh, production has not been started. Uh, the first thing was definitely the gas prices. Now, it's a different story now because gas prices, as, as you know, it's in the sky high. The second problem was definitely the infrastructure, because this project is too big for the Romanian consumption. I mean, your country is still uh, importing like 10-20% of your gas need from Russia, but 80-90% is covered by you. So uh, this project, uh, Neptune, is expected to produce like 3-4 BCM of natural gas per year, which would be too much for Romania itself. So you need a kind of an export. Now Brua is operating, so Brua pipeline can take the excess quantities to the neighboring countries, mainly to Hungary, and Hungary can distribute it further to the, to the neighboring uh, uh, countries like Slovakia, Austria, Croatia, and so on. So these two things have been solved. Now there is the third issue, and that's the regulation where I see the, the biggest problem. Even though Romania approved the new offshore law, I see still a lot of uncertainty regarding the regulation in Romania. Uh, what Joska already mentioned with the 98% tax, uh, I see a lot of uncertainty now about the, uh, either the electricity regulation and the gas regulation. There's still some topics between OMV Petrom and the Ministry of Energy regarding the offshore issues. Now the official date to start this project is, is uh, well, make the FID is the mid of 2023. I think uh, uh, Petrom needs some time to clarify these issues. What they really want is a kind of a long-term stability agreement with the Romanian government, not to touch the taxation uh, at least for 10, maybe even more like 20 years, in order to touch these, these fields. Uh, the good news is that I think uh, this gas can be produced feasible. There are some examples in the region where you know this offshore gas is working. I think the best example was, in my view, is the Tamar project back in Israel in 2012. Very similar characteristics. So 1,000 deep uh, sea, uh, roughly the same distance to the shore. Maybe some people say that the Black Sea is a little bit more tricky because of the wave, the high, there's bigger waves than, than over there. But I think technology-wise, this is a possible issue. I think OMV Petrom has the knowledge to, to do this. There was also some concerns that, okay, Exxon has the knowledge, but maybe OMB Petrom doesn't have it. I think they have it. Now there's really the, 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 uh, the regulation is the key issue. Um, honestly, uh, sometimes when I think about politics, uh, I see Hungary on one end and Romania on the other end. Uh, I remember once the head of OMV was telling me that he likes Hungary because he, he knows who to call. In Romania, it's always changing. Uh, I see the, the other side, I said, you know, that okay, but we, I see, I, we have a lot of bad examples over here with the very strong uh, leadership. So uh, some way between these two extremes would, would be the best to find the middle way. Uh, and I think Romania would need that. We definitely need that, this gas. So Hungary has a very high exposure to the Russian gas. Probably the country is the most exposed in whole Europe for the, for the Russian gas. I think it's important for Moldavia as well, because Moldavia is highly rely on the Russian gas, and now Putin is you know, blackmailing them more than anybody else. Uh, so definitely there will be a market for that. Uh, it's really a proper regulation, what is the most important to be needed. 
Um, so that's the, now the main story with with uh, with uh, Petrom and Romgas. Actually, I work with these companies now almost like 15 years. I got very good relationship with them and. Time and I like them to, to work with and to analyze them because they improved a lot. Uh, honestly, I think Romania has still a lot of reserves, especially below 3,000 meters on the onshore side as well, not only on the offshore side. So even in longer term, I think the country can be uh, an important player and an important producer in the region. Uh, so I see a lot of opportunities going ahead. Yeah, so this is in a nutshell what I wanted to tell you and yeah. I'm happy to take your questions if you have. Okay, thank you. Thank you.